DJI has just launched the Phantom 4 drone in New York. We're in a, a three-story uh, nightclub because it's one of the only places you can actually fly them in Manhattan. Um, we've got one right here. And basically, uh, what's new? Uh, the camera's had some tweaks. The gimbal's been redesigned, uh, and it now shoots at 120 frames per second slow motion video at 1080p. And it's obviously still got 4K video recording too, but only at 30 frames. Uh, the design's changed a little bit. It looks a bit thinner, sleeker from the top, maybe a little bit chunkier from the sides. Um, but otherwise, it's, uh, the weight's pretty much stayed the same. We've got uh, easily removable propellers now for the first time. Uh, you push down and twist, and they come straight off. It's a lot easier than the old style on the Phantom 3. Uh, the battery has been bumped up. Uh, you've got 28 minutes of flight time now compared to 23 on the Phantom 3 Pro. Uh, but the exciting stuff is all underneath. We've got um, plenty more sensors uh, than we had on the Phantom 3, which basically let it do a couple of things. Uh, obstacle detection is the big one. When you're, uh, you're out and flying and you've got to be keeping, keeping an eye on where you're going, uh, it can be quite tricky to sometimes see a tree come out of nowhere and you end up taking out the drone. That's the costly mistake. Uh, obstacle detection here will basically keep an eye out for anything coming within 50 feet. When it gets to within about 10 feet, 6 feet, it'll slow the drone right down and avoid the obstacle completely. Uh, there's some very clever tracking going on here as well, which makes things a lot easier if you're only the one person trying to do flying, filming and spotting at the same time. With the app built onto the control pad, you'll be able to tap a subject and then it will lock the camera to that subject as you fly, or you'll be able to tap a place and the drone will go straight there. Uh, it all looks pretty slick in motion. We haven't had a chance to try it out yet, but hopefully we're going to find some time later today and give it a go. Uh, it's going to be up for pre-order today and be on sale uh, by the end of March. You can pick one up in Apple stores for the first time uh, and then from April you'll be able to pick it up at all regular DJI retailers. That pretty much wraps up the Phantom 4 launch here in New York. Hopefully we're going to get a chance to fly this thing any minute now. Uh, but in the meantime, make sure you read our in-depth hands-on preview over at stuff.tv and like and subscribe here on YouTube.